All right, good morning, good evening, whatever time it is, it is cross-out time, guys, and we have the new Bravo 6, is what the devs were telling me they're calling it, but I couldn't find it in my storage until I looked up the purple movement parts, and they've really amazingly labeled it simply as a tank, a track. So we're going to check it out today. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's faster than the Goliath, slower than the armored track. Doesn't have explosion resistance, which is a bummer. Um, but let's 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 take a look at the parameters of this thing in comparison to the other tracks, which I can't do right now because we're using it. Um, but let's just give you an idea here. So these bad boys only go 45 kilometers per hour, and they have bullet damage resistance, melee damage resistance, and thermal damage resistance. Um, the other guys that we use a lot, armored tracks. These guys, 60 kilometers per hour, so five miles an hour faster than the tank tracks. But one of the nice things is these guys get bullet damage, blast damage, melee damage, and thermal damage. So it's a bummer that they didn't give the blast damage resistance to the tank tracks, which you can see they don't, they don't have it. They got melee, thermal, and bullet. But damn, do they look nice. And I will see if I can show you guys the size comparison of all the big tracks here but let's just let's just take them for a drive see how they respond this thing just looks like a jag panther or something from world of tanks never have i felt as much like i'm playing war thunder or world of tanks as i do right now um just really fine looking tracks they feel like a real cosmetic choice here um, but let's go ahead and compare them to the other tracks, oh look at that, nice little stop there. God, they're just thin, narrow. All right, let's do a size comparison, okay? Give me a minute, I'll get these laid out for you guys to check out size comparison. All right guys, so let's take a peek at how these things compare size-wise. So you've got weld points on this bad boy on the top. It's like two across, weld point-wise. Which is, you know, pretty standard. You can see though, the armor track is about the same width. The Goliath, a little bit more narrow. Um, as far as overall length on this thing, look at the height. This guy, oh my gosh. Look at this thing. It's got, it's got some more ride height than the other tracks do, which is going to make it nice for undermounting stuff. So let's actually take a peek and see what we can stick underneath this cabin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can confirm that you can completely undermount porcupines with this. So we might have to build undermounted pork launcher because that's awesome. What else can we stick under there? All right, guys, not only can we fit porcupines under there, we fit an entire cyclone under there. That's right. We mounted it behind the frames. You can completely undermount a cyclone like this thing is just tall all right let's compare the height of one side if we were to go on this side we're going to do this track let's go ahead and compare it to uh, armor track on this side look at that it's just way way higher off the ground so that's comparing it to armor track let's compare it now to goliath track it's because of where it mounts look at this goliath track gives you like no room to undermount versus this guy that's like a solid weld point weld point and a half higher guys so while this thing may not be stellar in a lot of ways the way that it's designed its size and configuration make it perfect for undermounted tank builds guys mr g bringing you the latest and cross out as soon as i can devs ping me today they're like we gave you these parts get it out show your peeps that's what i'm doing like and subscribe for all things cross out i'm gonna go what what I'm sorry, just a second. This is t I'm sorry, the unit, what? What unicorn, what's that? Uh-huh, okay, okay. I gotta go do dad stuff, so uh, unicorn and I, we gotta roll out, I'm gonna catch you guys later. Yep, what's that? They should They should join the Patreon? One dollar a month gets you Mr. G sticker? Yeah, that's true, unicorn, thank you for mentioning that. You guys should check that out, link down below in the description. What, in the Discord too? Okay, we'll get them cross out friends in the Discord too. Catch you guys later, Mr. G, out.